If anyone remembers this image, I brought this image up when I was talking about a complaint received from Billy Fitzgerald, the lawyer, because I sent Pete Evans a private email. And in that letter, he brought up the fact that I was accusing Joan Van Lysch out of being corrupt. And I said, no, I'm not accusing her of that. I'm just saying it's natural. Any man would support, I mean, well, any man would support his wife and any wife would support his, her, her husband. It's a natural thing. So when he said that, it's like, so you're writing me a threatening letter because of a private email that I sent to Pete Evans and he passed it on to all his buddies so that you could then write a letter to me and threaten me for saying it publicly because that's what a publication is publication and it was not in the public it was a private email so Billy Fitzgerald you are an idiot for trying to pull that out but I'm not gonna <laughs> he's the only reason that Joan Van Lyshout actually got brought back into it again and said anything because Ultimately, I have never been satisfied that Joan Van Lyshout is in any way, shape or form involved with Nightcap or Mingemble or even her previous, her previous husband. Well, I think they are ex now, partners, so, um, but her then husband's previous um, development application. So it had nothing to do with the fact of whether... Um, she actually did anything wrong. It was a matter of understanding that every person is a human being and here's a woman that would naturally want to support her husband's endeavours. And the thing that I am apologising for is that I used the wrong image and I really aged you, Joan, I'm sorry, but hey, you know, the, the Van Lyshout women do actually look really good for their age. I've seen a picture of Peter Van Lyshout and his brother's mum, and that could even be her in this image. She is well into her 90s, but she doesn't even look it. And uh, she's a very... Um, honest woman got a lot of respect for their mum and for a large uh, degree what her sons have been able to achieve but I suppose you know not all your kids are going to shine as the brightest stars <laughs> but anyway so my apology is for Joan and sorry for using these images and portraying you and Peter like this when up here in the top corner that's Joan and Peter okay so as you can see I really got it wrong and uh, the other thing that it had been said to me and this is another reason why I'd never brought Joan into it it would all it has always been her husband just because she worked at the council didn't mean that she you know um, really wanted him to do it. I mean, you know, we know that in re relationships you will support someone even if you don't really believe in it or, you know, look, I'll, I'll let you try it out, but, you know, I really hope it doesn't succeed because, you know, that's just, no. Well, anyway, um, with the recent uh, DA application, that's been lodged with the council there have come a multitude of documents and in there the council have actually uploaded all the minutes of the meetings that are actually pertinent there's well there's three documents there's one that's 99 pages and all of the these are the minutes of the meeting for the discussions around giving approval to Peter Van Lyshout's approval back in the one that he lodged, the DA 061054, all those years ago, the one that's now lapsed. Now, in those 
things that were uploaded with the council was confirmation that Joan Van Lyshout excused herself. She declared her interest in the um, matter at hand and did not vote on it. She did the honourable thing and the right thing and she didn't get involved officially in it. And so all respect to Joan. And that's another reason why I had not said too much and, well, I used making her age the reason why she wouldn't um, be running for mayor again. But, you know, that's not a determination. and It's how fit you are at any age. There's, look, I mean, people don't start running countries until they get into their 70s or 80s. <laughs> I mean, isn't the average age of the President of America in their 70s? And anyone else is too young and too stupid and doesn't know? So it was a very, um, I suppose, poor way of actually p saying what I said in a private email that was pretty much, well, if there was any help that a wife was giving support, moral support, any kind of support to her husband and even the fact of her presence there and people thinking well this is her husband's development, I like Joan and I like Peter you know and I really want them to succeed you know so um, because of even their personal involvement with them you know there are many reasons why um, you know ultimately when they're looking at information they can choose to look at it in a negative light or a positive light so when they put forward the minutes of the meeting and they justify all their decisions anyone knows that for every decision that they can justify saying yes to they could also find a reason to justify saying no to because there is always ways of arguing both sides of something and so it is always what the people that are voting on it choose to focus on. So there was a lot that went on back then and it had never been my intent to actually delve into it or to even involve Joan Van Lyshout in any way, shape or form because I did in the first place initially go through and check out all names associated with anything that I'd heard about them and Joan Van Lyshout I did check out and there was just this I don't know this thing that I got with and plus all the information that I'd found out that it was said that she excused herself from voting now see that was only rumor I didn't know that for fact but given everything that I knew about her I wasn't going to say anything about her and involve her in her husband the only reason that actually came out was because of a private letter that I sent to Pete Evans and Billy Fitzgerald, a lawyer, s s threatens me by using that bit. That bit. He's pulled that bit out specifically to threaten me that I am slandering her. And it could be said that she's corrupt. Look, if I supported my husband that's not corrupt that's just logic you know the woman would be corrupt if she didn't excuse herself and she did so um you know she's an honorable woman and i'll just um i put put together a slideshow because i know sorry joan i am really long with apologies um but i wanted to make it clear that at this is joan and peter I never intended to involve Joan Van Lyshout because as far as I was concerned and there's other women too that I am actually not going to name because um, it's their misfortune to be involved with the wrong man. <laughs> uh, it's not who they are, it's who their ex is and that's why they're an ex because they are not the man that they wanted them to be and well ultimately the woman can't be the kind of woman that the man wants them to be 
so they drift apart and they become exes and I hope that Joan you are doing really well out there this is what Peter Van Leishout looks like now man and his dog <laughs> sorry <laughs> you, you know there's a saying Peter and it goes like this behind every great man is a better woman you should think about that you should think about what you've actually lost and so should all the other men out there that didn't didn't pay heed to their women to that greater woman behind the man the one that supports the one that enables the one that encourages the one that patches up your wounded ego the one that is always there until they're not because you wear them out by take 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 anyway it's a little bit of personal uh, reminiscent in there if you didn't understand that <laughs> but that's how come you end up with so many lonely old guys that all they've got is their dog and they've got to love their dog <laughs> so yes he had a beautiful woman and now he's got a dog that's a good trade-off isn't it tell me how long a, is a dog going to fulfill you I've been through quite a few dogs and I won't do it anymore because well I'm tired of losing them going through that grieving process and on that note I will well, sum up my apology for Joan I am very sorry that I portrayed you in any negative light it was never my intent to and I do apologize if it has you know caused any repercussions on you uh, not that I could imagine it would <laughs> but I've got a small channel limited audience and reach if this is just more for um, it bothers me that you got dragged into it because of what Billy had said and it was never my intent to well make fun or to put you down in any way uh, but I do try and say things with a little bit of humor because some things you know people can come at you with doom and gloom and you can just walk away after listening to it and you can feel the dread whereas I want to try and present information but not to actually bring you down with it and so yes I probably you know laugh or try to make humor a little bit more you know and I'm the bad comedian <laughs> so there we go I apologize Joan if I've offended you in any way and it is certainly this is my last video that I will do that will actually involve Joan Van Leishout and I didn't intend to involve her in the first place and if you look back on my videos I haven't actually involved Peter Van Leishout a great deal either but that is actually going to change because everything that's happened with the development application lodged well there's a lot to go through and I've been a very busy girl <laughs> but I'll get onto that on other videos again I am sorry Joan if I have portrayed you in any negative light it was never my intent and I certainly um, will not be doing it again to bring you into it because um, yeah well even as adults even as supporting partners I still understand that there is a line that that's his thing not yours and even if you were still together I understand that it's his thing not yours and I understood that right from the word go and that's why I didn't want to involve you it's always been PVL it's never been PVL and JVL or you know or the Van Leishouts it's always been Peter Van Leishout and he's got a lot to answer for too yeah it's no wonder he needs his dog
he needs comfort when everything keeps going wrong and he needs to go there and why is it going wrong well for a start you didn't listen to Joan when she gave you the best advice you didn't listen you you tended to think that your narrow judgment and field of view was actually seeing things for what they really are and I think now Peter Van Lyshout, you might actually have a little bit of hindsight to reflect on that and understand that she really was giving you good advice and you didn't listen. And that's why instead of having a woman by your side now, you've got a dog. Hey, you gave up. You didn't work to keep a beautiful woman and you ended up with a dog. And the thing is that when you ended up with a dog, you ended up with lots of fleas too, didn't you? Because that's what happens when you lay down with dogs. You get fleas. And you should know that, Peter Van Lyshout. You've made some mistakes. We all make mistakes. I'm apologizing now for one of them. You could be a man and show that you can put people above profit, greed and all those big dollar signs and ambitions flashing in front of your eyes thinking that sibling rivalry is going to count and that you'll ever be able to be better because well you won't you can't compete to be better you've got to understand that everyone's unique in what they are you'll never be your brothers and they'll never be youth. <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> One year's <is> enough. <laughs> anyway, on that note, I'm going to say again, apologies, Joan. And um, yes, I'll talk to people next time. Bye.